Hi, I'm Mary Director and I'm a Fun Stampers Journey coach. My blog is createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. My business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And I'm also on Facebook and it's facebook.com slash createscardsjourney. Today I want to show you a wonderful new die we have. I'll bring this back at the end. Um, I have a wonderful new die we have. And it's called the Petal Note die. It's DI-0273. There's one die in the package. Here's what the die looks like. You um, do your sandwich. You put the cardstock down, set this on top. And it, not only will it cut in the outer edge, but it also will put crease lines in. And this petal, um, petal note, it's just a little note card. And when you open it up, you can decorate. And so I use some of our journey sequins, which are called Bloom Time AC-0114. And all the sparkle to them. And I just used a little bit of our craft glue to glue them on. And then I used a little bit of our sparkle silk on the high. Um, the high is from our new um, steel rule die, and I'll do um, some information on that uh, later on. But just so you can see this as an example, and so you know where that came from. Well, it turns out if you take four of these petal cutouts, you can actually make a box. And the box is a little, oh, it's about three and an eighth by three and an eighth square. You can just sew a really great little gift box. And I want to show you tonight how to make this. So what I'm going to do is I have four of these already cut out, and I've already gone ahead and creased them. Let me show you this way. Okay, so what I've done is I've put our white liner tape just on one side of each one. I went ahead and I creased each one. And, you know, crease it, bring it back out, crease it, bring it back out. Okay, so I'm going to put the four sides together. Again, our bloom tool is really great for um, getting the adhesive off here. You do a firm and then just take the tip right off this one's on a little firmer <laughs> okay then what I'm going to do okay I have tape on this side so I'm going to take tapes here I'm going to take this and I'm just going to match them up put firmly together Okay, tapes on this side, okay, so we're going to go this way, this is so great when you need a little gift box, it's, it might even fit a cupcake, now I haven't tried it, but it looks like it might be big enough, it definitely would hold a few cookies if you wanted to do some baked goods, okay, so the sticky uh, tape is, the the white liner sticky tape, double-sided tape now. We're just gonna match up, squeeze together so it's got a firm grasp. And then again, this is plain. This has got the tape. We're making it long here. Get this off. Okay. Final one to match up. And they match up real easy. Now what we're going to do, we want everything to go the same way. So I'm going to put a little bit of sticky strip underneath here, our white liner tape, and it's AD-0001. And again, you don't need scissors. To cut this, it literally will just rip. Put it here. Okay. 
I don't know if you've had time to go through our new spring into summer catalog. There is so many wonderful products in it. This is just this is just one of many. I had a die very similar to this years ago, and it was one of my most popular videos on YouTube showing how to make the box. So when Fun Stamper's Journey came out with this die, I immediately had to order it to see if it was the same thing. And although this is a thin die, um, it, it creates the same type of box. And in fact, the, this box is actually larger. This die will fit in both the Amaze machine and the Platinum machine. Realize though, this is a wide die. Um, it's probably, let me do it this way, it's almost six inches. So um, if you have some other brand of die, I mean not die, but a die cutting machine, I can't guarantee it's gonna fit. It definitely will fit in the Amaze and in the um, Platinum machine. Okay, so now if we did it this way, this would be kind of cumbersome to do. So I've got my tape here. I'm just gonna go through, and I'm actually just gonna cut this end off. So it's the end that would match up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it. And just cut straight across. We're gonna take the tape off this end. And then we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna match it. Oops. Okay. Then take your crease tool and go inside. You can also do with your fingers, but the crease tool, putting it on your um, tabletop and then doing it will give more pressure okay and then the bottom was you'd put one side down one down one down and then put it together and then as you can see that gives a little bit so what I did in this one and I will do for the blue one also is I created, I cut down a square, and I did just a little bit over three inches by three inches, and glued it to the bottom. See, now this sticks. Also then what I did is I took some of our um, Journey craft glue, and I literally put, after I had, okay, first put, first put your piece in here, secure it. Then after it's secured, Lift these up just a little bit and put a little drop of glue under each and that way it'll keep it flat. And see the petal look? And then you just close. Now what you can do, if you want it, you could take one of the ruffled flowers like I made the other day and put it on the top. You can um, put the ribbon on it and of course you would tie the ribbon. I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna work. Let me do it because I've already taken it off. Um, what I did is I took approximately 28 inches of ribbon and then I wrapped it around the box and then I tied the bow. There we go, this will slide back on now. So you can decorate it however you want it. If you wanted to stamp the sides, if you wanted to put embellishments on the side, if you wanted to put sequins. I mean, there's just so many options. So that was just a quick tutorial to show you how to do the boxes using our, um, our Petal Note die set. And you can also just close it up, you know, close up the ends like this if you wanted and then just put a tag across it or put like a little belly band, just lots of options. This is how it was meant to be used. 
as a little note card, but again, now you can make boxes with it. Thank you for watching my video tonight. And again, I have a blog which is createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. I'm on, I'm on um, Facebook, which is facebook.com slash createscardsjourney. And I'm also um, on a Fun Stampers Journey business website, which is funstampersjourney.com slash marydirector. Thank you so much.